guys, I'm back. Uh, we're going to go for some black coffee. I got a number six hook and some crickets. We're going to I can give her a shot. Go out about, uh, thinking it's about 50, 50 feet out there. See if we can get any bites. I finally got that orange bobber I've been dying to get since I made 16. That's so cool. I wanted a bigger heat net though, like one that holds 100 pounds instead of 44. But I gotta get to 17 now, I just got to 16. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Once I get past, uh, up to 7, oh, fish on. Holy crap. Look at that big old bobber, man. I'm liking that orange bobber for some odd reason. Oh, wow, we got a small mouth that time. I'm actually trying to catch some uh, crappie over in this area. Let's try it over that side, maybe. We got a smallmouth bass out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this orange bo bobber. It looks like a big old floating beach ball out there, right? To me, anyway, it is. Come on, black crappie, where you at? There we go. They're messing with it. Now if they'll just take it. Oh, there he goes. Gotcha. There we go. There's a little black crappie right there. At 5, uh, 43 in the morning on the in North Carolina. There we go. Yeah, the crappie like the cold water in real life. Uh, anyway, I so need to go crappie fishing sometime. I haven't been in a long time. See if I can get a couple more uh, black crappie here. Oh, there we go. We're getting a bite there. Probably going to be a bass. He's nibbling still. Damn it. Tried to bite in its teeth. All right. Well, wait a second. I'm sure he'll come back tasted them crickets and he's like, hmm, I need to go home and tell my buddies about this. Still nothing. I'm gonna, oh, there we go, there we go. Get in a bite there. Come on, snag it. There we go, there we go. Nice. Oh, nice. A trophy black crappie. Finally a trophy black crappie. Awesome. I got a couple trophy white crappie on the other map earlier uh, today on the other video that I did on the panfish video. But then I found these black crappie and I figured I'd do a small video on that. So you guys know where they're at. And bass, uh, smallmouth bass and uh, largemouth bass are also over here. Uh, later on in the day, about 3 o'clock, um, I think I was catching them on bobber then, which was pretty cool. 
See, this is what I do. If you wait a little bit and you're not getting nothing, just tap it, bring it in a bit. Don't let it marinate for a minute, you know? Marination. Nothing. I can't wait till they add chumming. Chum the water. That'll be so awesome to attract fish. And fish finders, and I'm not so worried, much worried about a fish finder, but like to be able to put your pole down and set in a chair or something, it'd be kind of cool. I don't know if that's going to happen, but. So now I've got all the bobbers. <coughs> Chubby, the slim, got them all now finally. So I got the red and white uh, beach ball like this one, and the orange and yellow one, which is kind of cool. All right, we got something here. Sweet, another black crappie. You know what I want to do is I want to try right out here on the outskirts of this this weed bed. Ah, there we go. Let's see if we can get anything right here. Looked like something was nibbling on it anyway. I'm going to mess with it, see if I can get him to take it. Never know. Figured crappie would be in there too, but... Not sure, we're going to try to catch something here. It looks like it's biting, but I'm really not seeing any nibbling on the meter there, anyway. Be awesome if you just took it. It is moving, though. see what's right there, just out of curiosity. Ah! A white crappie is right there. I did not know that. So there's white crappie there, and then weeds. Black crappie right out in that area. Hmm. wonder if there's anything right here. Wouldn't that be something for them to just grab that shit and take it? That would be so cool. Just all of a sudden the barbers boom, underwater. See if that did, see if I can get anything right there out of curiosity. Probably not. Alright, um, I wanna try out their ways. Like I said, I've got the Omni, the Omni float, uh, 14, 10, I believe it is, 14 feet, 10 inch pull, and it's retarded, you can cast like 100 and some odd feet, which is pretty amazing. Also, I love the Troy, it's a red pull, really nice looking fishing pole. But you can only cast out about 50, 60 feet on it, so. Oh, we're getting a bite right there. I want to see what's over there. Like I said in the other videos, man, there's fish all over this, you know, the rivers, the lakes. I don't know how some people can't catch fish. Oh, and I guess uh, there's largemouth over there. I wonder if I can get to them lily pads out there. Probably going to go... Ah, got it. Let's see if we can catch anything over there. Oh, 
reel it in a bit. I got it stuck. I don't want to lose my brand new bobber. <laughs> I turned up the drag there. I don't want to bust my pole. I did that once already. I broke one of these poles. Uh, my other Omni pole like that, I got hung up really bad on something and I could not get it and just snap the pull. And you can't fix it, unfortunately, the pulls anyway. You can fix them before they're broke, but you can't fix them if they're broken in half, apparently. Oh, wow, this pumpkin spice uh, creamer for your coffee is so good. If you like pumpkin, anyway, it is really good creamer. Ah, that was a good cup of coffee. All right, but well we're not getting anything out there, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it on in about right there. And see if that does anything. I'm sure it will. I just wanted to see if we would get anything out that way. Not really getting anything there, are we? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now I'm getting a nibble. There we go. That seems like it's a pretty reasonable sized fish, too. As you seen when I reeled it in, you see how many bars went up? That would have been really nice if you would just grab it and take it. Let it sit there a little longer and see what happens. Come on, fishy. Trying to lure them to it, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, sometimes it works. No crap. Oh, look. I'm getting a nibble now. Now if you just take the damn thing. See if I can get another one to bite. We're not getting anything. Let's try out there again. And they were biting about, I don't know, about 50. I'm a little far out there. See, this is why I like the Omni pull, though. I mean, if I want to cast it all the way to the other side of that bank over there, I can if I wanted to. Whereas the, the Troy goes about 50 foot or so, and that's about it. Depending on which way the wind's blowing, that's true. Oh, wow, this is the first time I've been here, and it's 64 Fahrenheit, sunny, and no wind. That's awesome. Oh, we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite here. I gotta pay attention. I start reading my signs on the walls in my in my room and stuff sometimes. I've got a bunch of signs on the walls and, and uh, sometimes I read them and I'm not watching what I'm doing here as I'm talking. Come on. 
just want him to take it. I don't want to reel it in too much because sometimes when you do that, they just go away. So I'll let it sit there a little longer and then give it a little up. Ah, there you go. Give them enough push to... To take it anyway. All right, that's a nice trophy, uh, trophy there. I want a picture of that. There we go. That is awesome. Oh, hold on. I gotta, uh, I gotta turn my AC on a little bit. It's freaking warm in this bedroom. There we go. Ah, probably. Oh, I'm getting a bite now. I should turn the air conditioner and mess with it more often, huh? Ooh, whatever that is, I think it's a good size. Yeah, see up how I bumped it? Get in. See, I got this little thing that I do sometimes if I press enter just barely and give it a little nudge and see how high the the tension line jumps to. You can usually tell how big the fish is almost all the time. Well, it's like my guesstimation helper. <laughs> now, it doesn't always work, but... Even when you reel it in, you can kind of tell by, by the resistance and the bar graph going. For me, anyway. Come on, take it. What I wish is if you could catch a small fish... And then all of a sudden, a bigger fish would eat that fish. That would be kind of cool. I did write to uh, Fishing Planet on Facebook. So if you guys are wanting uh, your own cut bait, say cut, catch uh, panfish and whatnot, and cut them up and use them for, you know, cut bait for other fish. Um, what I, my theory was is that they could add a button after you catch the fish where it says release and keep. They put another button there, and you could put only on, you know, not the game fish, but the, the pan fish, you know, bait fish and stuff. You could choose cut up, and that would cut it up and put it in your inventory. So if you guys think that's a good idea, get on Fish and Planet on Facebook, and uh, send them a note on that and tell them, because the more people that do this, they will probably listen to us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I think that would be cool too. You wouldn't have to buy so much bait in the store, you know, which I thought was pretty neat. Hey, let's see if we can catch another uh, white crappie right here. Right there on the edge of that weed bed right there. 21 feet out. See if we can get a crappie to bite. Crappy, crappie. Come on, you know you want it. Don't look like anything's gonna bite it right there now, does it? Oh, wait a minute, maybe. Come on, you little stinker. You know you want it. There we go, we got one now. Yep, white crappie right there. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that till this uh, this game today. Actually, if those were even there, crap! Please don't lose my big old ass bobber that I like. Ah. Oh, 
awesome. I'm getting a fight right there. I don't know why it always says fish tried to buy a <coughs> gauge because, like, if you usually if you let it sit there a little longer, you'll get it. You'll start getting a bite again. Not all the time now, but most of the time. See, there we go. They like playing with them. Mess with them like that. Sometimes entices them to, you know, just kind of, not real hard. You kind of jerk the full. Yep, there you go. He's interested in that, that's for damn sure. Ah, another young uh, smallmouth bass on that cast. Let's see if we can get another crappie over here. Number 69. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if we can uh, get a crappie out that farm. Getting a bite out there. That would be awesome if he just took it. Ah, uh, he was going to take it too. be awesome if he just snatched that thing up and uh, run with it so I could uh, catch his little butt. Come on. Little sucker. Apparently they like, the fish like 69 also. <laughs> Cause what, that's like the second bite I got out there? Oh look, I'm getting another bite already. And then, come on. Trying to entice him here. There we go. Come on. You know you want it. Little shit. Take it. Son of a gun. Since I cast it at 69, I gotta catch a fish at 69. Just to... Just for the hell of it, right? Oh, and, and, and he is. And he's going to catch a fish at 69. Awesome. We did it. <laughs> That's some crazy shit. And it's a black crappie. Sweet. I don't know what else I should try, to be honest with you. I want to try right there by that slingshot. I ah, didn't cast it far enough out. I want to see what's right here if there's anything. Just curious. Ah, no bites yet. Let's move it over here. Next to this weed over here. Let's see if, uh, give it a second, see if we get anything or not. Sure don't look like it, does it? getting a bite, but I wasn't getting a bite, but okay. I didn't see a bite anyway. Alright, I'm going to let it sit there a little longer and see if we can see anything. I'd like to see if we can catch anything right there.
No, it sure don't look like we're gonna get a bite right there, does it? All right, let's see what else kind of crappie bait I've got. Um, you know what I wonder? I wonder if Reddy are on this side. Let's find out. I wonder if Reddy are on this side. Let's try right over here. Just curious because get my soda here. Just curious because. Like, what do we find? White crappie, black crappie, smallmouth, largemouth bass on this on this particular map right here. And red ear sunfish like uh, maggots too. So let's see if there's any red ear sunfish on this side. I'm gonna do like a quick fish, you know, wait, see if I get a bite. Reel it in. Wait a second, see if I get a bite. Oh, I'm gonna get a bite of something right there. Yep, I'm getting a bite. Wow, that'd be awesome if it was a red-eared sunfish. Just saying. And I caught him. I got him. What is it? A white crappie. Okay, let's try right over here in this area and go out about, I don't know, what's that, 50 feet? 60 feet? 50, 50 feet? But that's pretty good guesstimation. I'm getting a bite here, or should in a second. I just seen the screen do its weird thing. to find uh, red-eared sunfish on this side, to be honest with you. That'd be so cool. Oh, fish on. And what is it? Alright, there's pumpkin seed on this side, so why wouldn't there be, you know, red-eared sunfish? Now, I haven't caught a red-eared sunfish on this side yet. So there's always a possibility that there is red or some fish on this side. Or on, you know, on this particular map here. Well, we haven't found any yet, that's for sure. I am getting another bite from something. goes again. Just take, yeah, there we go. Okay, a black crappie. Hmm. Let's try right over in this area. Real quick. Bring it in a little bit. Not getting a bite yet. Time flies in the game. It's 7.33 a.m. already. And I've only caught 9 pounds, 6 ounces. 
and my fist there. So once I get done with this video, I'll probably go snag some bass real quick, fill up my net, start a new day. I'm in my fist net now on just a couple trophies and whatnot that I caught. Uh, before I started this day on this map, I got $250 actually for 44 pounds of uh, fish, which was a lot better. I still want that 100 pound net though. That would be <clears throat> that would be so much better to have. I could probably make 